Now let's look at one more question on the topic of unsymmetrical curved vein which is moving at a velocity. So the question says the a jet of dia 50 mm having a velocity of 20 meters per second strikes a curved vein which is moving with a velocity of 10 in the direction of the jet. So the vein and the jet they are moving in the same direction so your inlet velocity triangle will be nothing but this line because u and v1 are in the same direction. v1 is not tangential to the blade right so the jet leaves the vein at an angle of 60 degrees to the direction of motion of vein outlet right so the you know jet is leaving at an angle of 60 degrees like this and this is the angle which it makes with the direction of the motion of vein. So this angle would be your beta that is the outlet angle. So beta would be 180 minus 60 which is 120. All right. So you can uh, uh, draw an IVT and see these points and then you can uh, cut off the uh, points corresponding to that. So AB is V1 which is equal to the whirl velocity. AC is U1 and CB is VR1. All right, so if you write down the dia, the dia is how much? 50 mm, which is 0 0.05 meters. And we need to find out the force exerted by the jet on the vein. Means we need to find out force which for which I need to have an area as well. So area would be pi by 4 into point 0 0.05 square. This would be equal to point double zero one nine six three meter square. All right, so let's uh, find out the values. So V1 is given to us. V1 is given to us as 20 meters per second. V1 is 20. Okay, this is 20 meters per second. Then you have U1. It is 10 meters per second, which is equal to U2. Now, both the jet and the blade are moving in the same direction. So alpha would be 0. Alpha is 0. We have found out beta to be 120, which is obtuse. Okay. And uh, the force has to be found out. So let's find out VR1 first. So VR1 is equal to V1 minus U1. Simple. So VR1 is V1 minus U1. So V1 is how much? 20 minus 10 gives you 10. So your VR1 is 10. Similarly, it will be equal to VR2, isn't it? So VR2 and VR1 are same because there is no loss. There is no shock involved. Okay. Now VR2 is known to us. Then let's come to the OVT because there is no angle in IVT. In OVT, if you take the triangle EGF, if you, if you take these three triangle or the, this triangle and these three points, this is 5, this is 60. How much would be this? This would be 180 minus 60 minus 5. So this would be 120 minus 5. 120 minus 5. This entire angle. So if you use the sine rule, this line or VR2 upon the sine of 60. So VR2 upon sine 60 is equal to if I use this side gf which is u2 upon this sign which is 120 minus 5 so you will have u2 upon sine of 120 minus 5 right so what is vr2 vr2 is 10 and u2 is also 10 so I can strike off these two things you can also strike off sine this would give you a value of 5 as 120 minus 60 which will be equal to 60. So phi is equal to 60. So the blade outlet angle is 60 degree. All right. Now with this in place, this 60 in place, let's find out the VW2 because we have VW1. And what is the value of VW1, which is equal to 20? Because we need this in the calculation of the force. So VW2 from there, this is equal to u2 minus vr2 cos phi. So u2 minus vr2 cos phi. 
right so what is u2 u2 is 10 minus 10 cos 60 so this will give you v, uh, vw2 as 5 meters per second this is the value of vw2 now if you find out the value of force exerted force exerted can be found out in the direction of the motion as rho a v r1 square rho a v into r1 not square into v w1 minus not plus because your beta is obtuse ok this would be your value so you put in the respective numbers so rho is 1000 because we, we using water uh, the value of area is 0 0.001963 1963 into vr1 what is vr1 it is 10 into vw1 how much is vw1 20 20 minus 5 is 15 so when you do this calculation you get a value which is 294 294.45 newtons so this is how you solve a question read the question very carefully because if you don't read it you are going to make a mistake in drawing the inlet velocity triangle okay so i hope you got this now after this let's move on to the next topic and talk about a series of veins put on a wheel let's talk about that in the next video